Hey, what is up, fam? Got my boy here, James. Got my friend here, T Rod. What's We're up? in a haunted house. <laughs> and I also got my other friend, Tiffany, who happens to be a very gifted psychic. She usually doesn't use her gifts for stuff like this, but. So we got the Chiefs versus the Lions, is a possibility. And we got the Chiefs versus the 49ers. The other option is we could have the Ravens versus the Lions, or the Ravens versus. Uh, help the 49ers. me out here. 49ers. I like and how you spell Lions. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how you spell the Detroit Lions? Uh, yeah. Lion. <laughs> Lying. <laughs> I was lying, lying to you. So what is this that you're using? This is my pendulum. These are actually my grandfather's ashes, and he was a really big um, football fan, Patriots, actually. Oh, wow. This is how I predicted last year's game was with the pendulum. And you did this, and you got it right. I did. I didn't do it with the playoffs. Like to, I did it with the actual, like, the game itself. Actual Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So the Chiefs are playing the Ravens. Ravens so right? let's see if they win. So Chiefs and the Ravens play at 3 p.m. on Sunday. Okay, so that's the first game. The Chiefs is going to the Chiefs again, but it's for the actual game on, you know, the playoff game. So it looks like the Chiefs are going to beat the Ravens is what it's saying. Okay. I so that's where it's going. Swear that paper was... Oh, it's... Wait, did you hit that paper on accident? I don't know. Let me see. Maybe you did. Maybe I did. Do you see how it's going automatically in the yeah, Chiefs? Yeah, every single time it's going mm -hmm. towards... That's cool. And like I said, Chiefs. this is my grandfather's... At, like, this is literally... I trust it. <laughs> Well, you trusted right. enough last year. And, mm -hmm, and I did. When? And they did win. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just go so over here. Ravens ain't going to make it, according so, to the pendulum. So we're going to go ahead and look at the Lions and the 49ers. So that game, what time is that game? That game is going to be played on Sunday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. special. It looks like it's going to the Lions. It is going towards the Lions? Let's see. We could try this a few times, right? Mm -hmm. I see this, yeah. Maybe it's not. Look at it, it's going to the 49ers. Mm. Look. Oh, now it's going to the 49ers. Switcheroo. I'm gonna clarify that again, though. Yeah, we should. And we're gonna. I'm gonna switch them too in a minute. Okay. Like you know what I mean, like. So lines on the left, 49ers on the right. Well, um, I feel like something's pulling me over here. Something's pulling you to the 49ers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I can feel it, like tug. Oh wow! Yeah, look. Okay, let's see. All right, do it that way. Mm -hmm. Smart. Well, I was going to ask you to do that, too. I'm always really big at confirming, especially when it comes to this stuff, because, you know, we're not supposed to be using our gifts for this stuff, but I think it's kind of fun. And my grandfather loved football. Look. Oh, it's going to the left. Mm -hmm. Dude. 49ers? Okay, so... So it looks like the 49ers and the Chiefs hmm. is what it's showing. It looks like the Chiefs and the 49ers are going. So that's, that's my that's my prediction, my prediction, but the 49ers is looking like possible win. I feel like it's going to be a really close call, though. Yeah. So it's not going to be something that you guys are going to notice until probably, like, the third quarter. Okay. James and I, <laughs> I'll tell you right now, we were looking for this matchup right here. Put 40 bucks on this, like James did, you'll... Win what? Like 400. 400. No, it's 500. No, almost 400. Oh, it's four. I like the chances of one of the underdogs getting in. This is the AFC and NFC championship game. So she predicted the two teams that are going to be in the Super Bowl. We're going to do an update video if that does happen. And maybe she'll give us a Super Bowl winner prediction. Actually, she we did. did, but we might have to. We'll narrow it down. We'll so, narrow it down, yeah. You know, we'll just see. But I'm yep. wondering if it's going to be the Chiefs and the 49ers. All right. Well, you guys heard it here. Plug up her social media if uh, you want to get a hold of her. Uh, maybe come say hi to her. Moon Hippie Haven is my business. Moon Hippie Haven. Yeah. All right. I do have a video already, but I'm not going to release it until it happens or right before it happens to help you out. She did predict the actual Super Bowl winner, and that will be in the next video. This video is purely for entertainment purposes only. Don't go putting up your house and all your savings on these bets. 
Have fun with it. My friend James bet like forty bucks. I bet forty dollars. Yeah, yeah, I'm so gonna probably bet like a hundred. I didn't even bet that, so I bet. Yeah, he bet something else. Like 40 bucks yeah, too. I need but to this is dollars. before we talk to Tiffany. Yeah. So, but I'm not betting anymore. I'm done. If you want to use it and have fun with it, yeah, it is fun. And Tiffany does say that this pendulum thing is pretty accurate. So, I don't know. Let's see. We're gonna ask with the pendulum. What was your granddaddy's name well let's call him richard richard okay we're gonna we're gonna ask richard <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at okay <laughs> all right we're gonna ask richard <laughs> aka rich, rich. <laughs> <laughs> how much we should wager on this parlay this is putting 100 okay this is putting 500 okay this is putting say a thousand okay and then let's say hundred thousand no. But no, I, mean, I say I say you gotta have that one be the donkey. That's one of like let's 100. say twenty no one hundred twenty five hundred twenty five bucks. We gotta go big on one. No, are you serious? That yeah, much? a hundred, five hundred, a thousand. Oh my gosh. Okay. I mean, let's see. Let's see what the let's go. Says. Let's do it. Okay. Because maybe it wants us to go big. Oh you know? man, man. I hope you don't go over a thousand. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's risky. So my grandfather's real name is actually Richard. Oh, okay. And his initials are R A D for Rad. Rad, let us know what you want us to do here. How much should we wager? We can narrow it down. Oh, okay, I like that. I'm feeling more of a pull here than here. On a hundred? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're gonna switch it up. All right. I'm gonna do this several ways. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Please don't go selling your house and making a hundred thousand dollar bet on what we say here. We're just having fun. Going to the hundred. Oh, it is going to the hundred. Okay, and I like that because you're not you're not placing a huge bet. Mm -hmm. So that's actually perfect. Do like a yeah. you know a twenty five dollar bet. You yeah. know what I mean? If, uh, I think that if no, a hundred would pay three hundred and forty dollars out. And that's great. Imagine if everybody won. I might go like two nah, hundred bucks. Bro, lions. I have to, though. Lions and Chiefs. Lions and Chiefs. Lions and Chiefs. Lions and Chiefs. Yeah, on that hundred dollars. Do you imagine twenty five hundred dollars? Because that pays a thousand dollars. Imagine twenty five hundred dollars on Lions and Chiefs would pay how much? Twenty five thousand dollars. No, it doesn't. Yes, pay that. yes. $2,500 on oh, $2, dollars I, I thought you said, yeah, never mind. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said $25. Oh, no, 20, 2500 yeah. So 2500 yeah, 25000 That would be crazy. It's like a little, it's like twenty four ninety nine something like that. But well, could crazy. you imagine if that's what you bet and oh then my it God, came she cheap? Lost, she, she busted out the tarot cards. Oh, no. So what are you going to do with this? I'm just kind of looking. I was looking for just like the money stuff. You know, just to okay. kind of see. See if something money-wise came out? Mm -hmm. And it does. Oh, wow. So what do these mean? So this is kind of like where it's kind of showing that we do have some odds in our favor, mm -hmm. um, but not to bet too high. Okay. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I like that too. So hey, yeah. you listening guys, yeah. don't bet too high on these bets. But there's still like, there's money and potential to like, you know, okay. there's not, like it's not a loss. Okay. Oh, it's so. not a loss. Mm -mm. Especially, I mean, a hundred dollars is not much of a More loss. More pinnacles. Oh, dang. You always want to see pinnacles. Yeah, That's money. That's money. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you were shuffling those and got that. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay. And yeah. that's another pinnacle right there. One, two, three. Oh. There's three pinnacles. Okay. But yeah, just don't bet too high because that would just be like that. That to that there, it just wouldn't make sense too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think the hundred would be good. Okay, that's mm -hmm. what we're gonna do. We're gonna mm -hmm. bet a hundred like ten times. <laughs> 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 At least two times, because I'm going to bet 100 for you. That way uh, you could win some money oh, back, too. Okay, so I know the reason why Tiffany or Richard is having us bet, like, the smallest wagers that we can. I think a lot of us have questioned, especially if we've done some sports betting. I've done it just for fun here and there. There's some times where we feel stuff can be rigged, and I think that's a smart way to beat the odds in case there is some rigging going on. So play responsibly, have fun, and please take this video as being entertaining. And even if we're wrong, it could be because it is rigged.
So just have that in the back of your mind. But if it's truly rigged, it's going to end up being the Chiefs versus the Lions. Because the Lions, first time making a playoff win in over 25 years, and they've never won a Super Bowl ever. So I feel like if it's like truly that. rigged, that's what it really <laughs> would be. So we'll see. That's what I'm going with. It's two underdogs. And you know what? And it pays the most. It pays the most. <laughs> Ten to one. So yeah. hope your boy wins. Hundred bucks, win a thousand. I do have to add that James and I are degenerates. Welcome to the Greg special. <laughs> <laughs> So well, last night we did do a paranormal investigation in this house with our friend Tiffany, the psychic medium. I had something very strange happen and I was extremely emotional. You're gonna have to wait for that video. It's gonna come soon. I do have to edit that and that's gonna be a little bit more intricate editing, more than you know what you see here in this video because this video's kinda got a time limit. So some of y'all could possibly make some money. I hope you do, but if you don't, don't blame me. Please don't blame Tiffany, psychic medium, because like I said, it was for entertainment purposes. I have my flashlight that weighs like maybe like two pounds. Nah, I'm lying, but it was on that little night table and it fell on my toe. Hurts a little bit. I'll be okay though. Let's wake up James because we literally have three minutes to get out of this Airbnb. Yeah, that's right. You can rent this place out. It's kind of like a, yeah, it's like a bed and breakfast, but without the breakfast. So in here is an attic where somebody was pushed down the stairs. All right, here is the attic. Oh gosh. Tell you what, I've been up here two other times. Both times I felt extremely drained to the point where I almost wanted to go to sleep. It was weird. But on the same stairs that I'm on right now, Jeff, the owner's sister, was standing and she got pushed down she thought that jeff was behind her and was playing a prank and just kind of like nudged her and, and she wasn't expecting to fall she fell she even called him and was like were you up here and he was downstairs like way downstairs it was the third floor so he he was there was nobody up here i mean there was something up here we just don't know what when i was up here last night late last night i heard a ton of noises and I got some weird stuff coming in on my spirit box. It was very, very different. I'll show you around in here. It is a little messy. This is just like a storage area for the restaurant downstairs. They got really good sushi and poke bowls. Hey, I'll tell you what. They have this amazing Korean barbecue sushi roll. It's cooked, of course. And it's delicious. Something very different if you're into Korean barbecue like beef. If there's anybody up here or any spirits up here, can you move something? Throw one of those plastic Tupperwares on the ground or something? Maybe move a box? Maybe make a little noise if throwing something off a shelf is a little too much for you. <gasps> oh. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the noise. Can you do that again? Oh gosh, oh I did it again. I thought somebody was standing there. Okay, I've been told that this piece right here may be haunted. I know it's really, really old. Oh, look, it's moving, it's moving. Look at that, that was moving. What, how is that moving right now? Maybe there's a draft of wind coming from the window. This is an old house. Okay, yeah, I did not touch that. This vlog is so good. I almost want to put some of this footage on the actual video, but hey, you get something exclusive. How about that? It has been a little while since I uploaded on this channel, and I'm so sorry for that. I've been so busy, been traveling, been trying to get more videos out, recorded on my other channel. And yeah, last year kind of sucked. I'm so much better. I'm moving on. You know, we got to go through seasons. Everybody does. We all go through hurts. We all go through losses. But eventually, not that we ever get over them, but we heal and we become a little bit better and more sufficient. The people that passed on before us certainly don't want to see us suffering through life. You get what I'm saying? So I'm going to show you the restaurant. I don't, I don't know if anybody's in there. I, I think I heard some noises down there. I'm pretty sure somebody's down there working, but it's still pretty early. They don't open up till dinner time. But yeah, James and I are gonna get out of here, eat some breakfast too. Housekeeping. 
What are you doing? You know what Bro, you know we gotta be out of here in like a minute. Okay, so supposedly there's a red-headed woman that kind of pops around here and uh, also a woman with dark hair. What's that? What, you heard? Ooh. I just heard something down here. Okay. Oh, the lights are on. Wait, I think somebody's here. Maybe prepping, like food prepping. But, dude, they, they got some really good sushi here. I mean, I'm not into like the raw stuff. But yeah, the poke bowls, pretty dope. Here's the restaurant. And I got touched in here last night. I mean, <laughs> by something, like a spirit. Something touched my, like the top of my arm, like right here. It felt like hair brushing up, up on my arm. Happened twice. Kind of freaked me out. But yeah, this is a really unique place, really cool. You know, somebody's mom passed away here. I think that's the woman with the dark hair. And it's crazy because uh, you're gonna hear it first here. My mom, for the first time ever, came up on my spirit box and it was her. Like it was 100%. I, I felt like I was talking to my mom. I could feel her next to me. It's like she made an appearance and then left. And it was just like, she's she's in a better place, you know? This is the only kind of gas my car has. Yeah, this is really cool. It has a whoopee cushion. You can have this activate while your turn signal's on. That's like a, see right here? Could do that. And then when I turn my turn signal on. That's a fun trick to play on your mom. Yo, check it out. James ate here last night for dinner. I got the Greg special. You got the Greg special? What is that? This mother humper took all the good creams. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. Bro, like, you could leave coffee. me three. Oh, look at you! Yeah, we uh, you. See, oh man! <laughs> okay, I get a couple now here. Dang. Look at this breakfast right here. What's that called? The Greg Special? Greg Special. The Greg Special breakfast. The Southern Miss, I think, or something like that. Yummy, yummy. We probably got, I don't know, two, three hours. Uh, how much sleep did you get last Bro, night? I got no sleep. No Maybe sleep? An hour. The name of the town that we're in right now is called Dillon or D land. So a lot of people don't know that this place exists. There is a a lot of people don't know this exists, but there is an actual now turn left onto East Paris Fourth Avenue. Let's try this again. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that a psychic like it's like a psychic capital exists here in Florida, also known as Casadega, and where um I mean I'm not originally from, but I lived in a place in New York that was not far from a Casadega, New York. And I used to visit there, also known as Lilydale. And the two are connected. So it's two like massive psychic towns. Like the whole town is run by psychic mediums. What up, James? What's up, bro? Well, James is editing some videos. For reading appointment, inquire at front desk. So yeah, this is a whole psychic hotel. I've been here before. I have been here before. Oh. Okay. This is, wow. Quan Yin, Mother of Mercy. Okay, I'm not gonna read that. Cause I don't know what it is. Maybe not read this one either. It's like an old telephone booth. Look at that. Romantic tarot. Wow. I wonder if that's for some kind of protection. <laughs> Alright, so we are in front of the Hotel Casadega. If you want to see my video that I made here, how long ago was that, man? Uh, gosh, a couple years ago. Maybe like Maybe five like years ago. ago. Like every house, there's like mediums like psychic mediums that you can go to you can knock on their doors 
it's probably best to have an appointment. Like, everybody that I saw in there, they had, like, appointments and stuff. But, yeah, that says the Casadega Spiritualist. Welcome to Casadega Psychic Mediums on Duty. That's probably, like, a main house, but... The only thing to warn you guys about, if you do come here, if you walk down this street at night, you will get harassed. It happened to me twice. The last time one of the people came out, they were mad that we were walking on the street. And really? somebody else tell me the same story that they got into an argument just because they were looking at the, the lake and they came out and gave them a hard time. So you're not allowed to be out here at night. Anymore. So they don't like when you're here at nighttime. No, no. I will say that this one is a lot friendlier. Like the people were friendlier here than the one in New York. Really? The one in New York, bro, you can't even talk to people. They're like, no, no. I'm sorry to say, I'm not, I'm not like slandering them. This is just, this is my personal experience. Yeah with the going to the one in new york like people weren't they didn't seem like very approachable mm -hmm. like here people are they're smiling and they'll yeah. they'll come outside and talk to you but obviously they're not used to visitors at nighttime so that's one good thing to note shirt i almost thought that said spirits and shoes for oh, cool local authors these clothes are cool i am kind of open-minded when it comes to tarot cards but i'm not like 100 percent sold on or oracle cards little book of cards hmm. oh so you can use a deck of cards you get these cards and then you use this book that's kind of different universal love card i like that this is casadega aka the psychic town now the differences between here and lilydale i'd have to say the houses are a little closer together and you know, every time I've been here, I've been here a few times, I haven't really seen every single thing. So, I mean, it is nice to kind of just get out and like walk around, you know? Like, what is this? Sydney Psychic Medium. Margaret Ann Schmidt. So, I mean, you'll see that a lot. Wow, that's beautiful strange vibe when you walk around i mean it's not it's not bad but you do feel you feel like you're being watched i don't know if it's like maybe the psychics that are looking at you I, maybe it is maybe they kind of are like you know hey are they gonna walk in you just kind of feel like feel like you're like your soul is being looked at oh cute little picnic table on the tree I had to take a dookie. You had to take a dookie? Don't you feel like when you're walking around, it's, it's kind Ice of... Ice staring at you? Yeah, yeah I was just going to say this. I just said the same thing. Yep, 100%. Like, you just feel Especially it. Especially at night. Oh, it's even worse at night. Oh, at nighttime. Oh, but, I mean, yeah. you can feel it during the day. It's just... It's yeah. like an awkward... It's awkward. But, I mean, it's not, it's not negative. I wouldn't say that. It's something that you just have to experience. This is where I was at with my ex. And we were just, you know, checking everything out. And... Somebody comes out of their house over to here, starts yelling at us, telling us we're on private property. No one's allowed here. It technically is private property, but, but he doesn't own it. <laughs> there's nothing saying that you can't walk around here at nighttime. I think this whole establishment is like it is private and then people buy the houses on it. Don't know the name of this building. I think it's like a church or something. It's like a psychic church. The house looks a little creepy. All the creepy. Yeah. Well, there is this sign here, James. It says close from dusk to dawn, but that's only here. Yeah. I don't think that's the streets. Okay, here's the horseshoe park Dude, this would be cool and fairy night. trail. It would be cool at nighttime. This would be a really neat place to go ghost hunting. Got some wabbits here. Just because it's daytime does not mean that this place can't be spooky. It can't be haunted. A place that's haunted is going to be haunted. It may be more active, sometimes even during the day. You never know. But no matter what, there is a lot of cool stuff to see here. Oh, what was that? I thought I heard something. Sound like somebody laughing or something. What do you think of the fairy garden? Yeah, my favorite is the pet cemetery, though. I mean, I don't know a lot about this kind of stuff. But I know that these stones or rocks are placed... Actually, they're not stones at all. They're pieces of wood. But they're placed in a certain order like this for a reason. Oh. That's weird. What the hell is this? Go ahead and step in the middle of that. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Me too. I think it's 
like set up to walk like you it's almost like a maze like you walk in and you go all around in circles hmm. i'm good though so i don't know what that I'm means <laughs> yeah wow that's so cool bring a can of mosquito spray because i've been getting torched i remember last time it, it's worse in the summertime winter time i don't know we're getting this weird warm weather which hey i'm okay with because i just got tortured with some cold weather not long ago i mean it was cold here i mean we're floridians what are you doing james Coming. <laughs> there's literally trails everywhere it's a gnome all right i'm sorry i'll leave you a gnome are they biting you too like, what is this? Who were you before the world told you who to be? Stay true to you. Oh my gosh, I needed to hear that today. Thank you for whoever put that there. Freaking cool. All right, so this is the Lake Helen Cemetery. I don't know if this is a sign. It's a little strange because we're in the same town where we just met with that psychic. Of course, she was talking about the whole 49ers thing. Take it like you want. I'm gonna share with you my wager that I put in that a lot of people are gonna think that we're stupid. It was a little bit different than what Tiffany told us to do, but that was just me. You should make your own decision, okay? Maybe this will help you in the decision-making. If you are superstitious like I am. Get to the point, Omar. Mm -hmm. So Brock Purdy is the quarterback to the 49ers. And the 49ers are supposed to be winning that one game. They're the favorites. Actually, they're the highest favorites. Oh, what? Just blew my mind. What, dude? You're not thinking straight. It is a sign. It 100% is a sign. What does that represent? I don't know. Death. Oh, it's going the other way. <laughs> So the Lions are going to win it? Bro, that's that's what it's saying. It's saying the 49ers rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold we, on. We were thinking about it backwards, bro. I mean, I mean yeah, baby. Come on, that's a pretty good point. Okay, I, I'm just going to go ahead and share what we're going to do. I did put a small wager for the Chiefs 49ers like she predicted because I did tell her that if it does win that I'm going to give her what. I mean, it was, it was a small bet like we did. However, the Lions and Chiefs will make it to the Super Bowl. And I am a big believer in if things are supposed to be scripted in the NFL, okay, the Lions, look, I, look I'm a Bucks fan, okay? I really dislike the Lions right now. One of my favorite rappers is Eminem. He's a Lions fan. And I have to root for the Lions in this case, okay? I, I'm going to be rooting for the Chiefs, of course, like to win, to go to the Super Bowl. However... If it is a Lions Chiefs Super Bowl, I am going to be rooting for Me the too. Lions. Me too. We're going to be excited, baby. Yes. They have to win. I mean, they've never won a Super Bowl before. It's And then you have Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey. Like, they're so important. I'm going to tell you this, okay? I'm not a Chiefs fan. All right, we the Bucks beat the Chiefs a couple years ago in the Super Bowl. Tom Brady. But I named my brand new puppies Taylor and Travis. And my other puppy, Patrick. Okay? I literally have three uh chiefs or whatever i could have named them yeah I, but i would have named one of them tom but i have a goat and i named him tom brady because tom brady is the goat i'm gonna throw that out there that that's what we bet we put a small wager because it pays a lot for the lions and chiefs before i end this video i am going to show you the devil's chair i'm going to share a little bit of history there is an airplane flying up above us the cemetery is pretty creepy bro i love what you just said right yeah, now bro. That I makes mean, me feel so much better. like, hey, I, I don't want, I don't want Brock Purdy no, to get not. hurt. I don't want about. him to, no, no. But, but like, this is saying it's that like, the, and I'm not trying to hate on any 49ers fans, okay? Like, the psychic really liked the 49ers. Now, the last time I was here, I saw this angel or something in the ground, and it was like a curse. Ooh, what is all this? What the heck are those things? I'm not sure what that is. Did like somebody place that there? Yeah, I want to say it was over here. It was like an angel. It had like a curse written on it. So they must have removed that unless they moved it somewhere else. This over here is the devil's chair. Some people will leave a beer. The beer will get drunk. And they do that as kind of like a offering, like a peace offering. So it's not uncommon to see beer here on the chair. Oh, there's like little markings. I mean, it doesn't look like anything that I would mess with. 
I don't see any beer. I just see like a lot of markings. That's, oh my God, I feel really bad right here. I feel really weird. I'm going to walk away. So there's a couple different like urban legends about this. Some people say that if you sit in the chair, the devil himself will visit you. You'll be cursed for life. So some people refuse to sit in the chair. And then there's people that are a little bit more daring, a little bit more brave that will sit in the chair. James has sat in the chair before. Nothing happened. Some people have sat in the chair. Bad things happen. So, yeah, take it with a grain of salt. You know, I'm kind of like that with Urban Legends. I'm open to it. I am going to do a full investigation video here. It's not going to be probably done for like another week or so. Be on the lookout for that. Make sure to check out my boy James, too. He might be releasing that video a little bit sooner. And, guys, everything that we had in this video, I mean, of course, there's some facts involved. But it's all for entertainment purposes. I don't want somebody emailing me and being like oh my god omar like i lost my house because of you like dude i like i am doing this myself but i'm being responsible i know how much i'm willing to lose okay like i have you know a couple hundred dollars that i could like play with and if i make you know a thousand from it hey that's fantastic if i lose it it's not gonna hurt me you know losing a 100 bucks not gonna hurt me that's what tiffany the psychic medium recommended do like a low Low bet, okay? Don't go crazy on it, all right? All right, got to go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss. Peace.